Welcome to Inside New York. We are so pleased to have on today's program, Richard Wesley, our resident griot, who is going to talk about some of the icons that he has known and that regrettably have passed most recently. Uh, we welcome you back, Richard. Thank you so much for joining us to share your recollections of our beloved icons. It's a pleasure to be here and an honor to be able to speak about them. I'm going to start with Mickey Grant, because our last discussion, we were talking about your foray onto Broadway uh, with A Mighty Gents and with Black Terror prior to that, and working actually with Bennett Carroll in that urban art yes. core, which I think was central to how Mickey Grant was able to bring Don't Bother Me, I Can't Cope, which he's most noted for. Mm -hmm. to yes, Broadway. Mickey was, uh, yes, I think she was, she was kind of like an artist in residence at the Urban Arts Corps. She worked very, very closely with um, uh, the Arts Corps uh, founder of uh, Vinette Carroll. Um, it's almost like, I think I met the both of them at the same time. And um, uh, uh, Mickey was uh, a, a wonderful and gentle soul. And um, everybody who was ever around Mickey, you know, uh, just embraced, uh, just embraced her, embraced the idea of being with her. And um, some of that joie de vivre that she had, um, you know, just... Uh, it just rubbed off anyone who was around her for any length of time. Yes. Yes. And I should probably introduce her because many still don't know that she was the first woman, not just a Black woman, but the first woman. No, she, was a, she was the composer, the lyricist, and the book writer for um, Don't Bother Me, I Can't Cope. And in that capacity, she was the first woman to do so. Uh, with a play on Broadway. I lay back on my analyst couch and told him what's frustrating me. Yeah. He said the trouble with you is you can't cope. Then he asked me for a $50 fee. Yes. I said, don't bother me. I can't cope. You know, it's been years. I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of the um, subsequent productions of Don't Bother Me, I Can't Cope. Wow. since those early years, uh, 50, 51 years ago. So this would be something, uh, it would be a wonderful, cherished memory for me. And, you know, uh, we're coming up on another Broadway 50 year um, uh, celebration um, uh, when we speak about um, uh, Ain't Supposed to Die a Natural Death. Yes. Um, which also opened in that space that um, Don't Bother Me, I Can't Cope um, uh, occupied. Um, Such an exciting time. And yes. And we're definitely going to talk about the, our be beloved... Melvin Van Peebles, whom we also... Yeah, you know, lost we very that this week. Um, but before we get there, I just want you to, you know, go back into your your memory uh, in terms of Mickey Grant and what you would want to say about her contributions to you as a aspiring playwright, whether it influenced you in any way to feel confident and what you think her greatest contribution is to theater. Her effect on me personally uh, was, um, I wanted to emulate her work ethic. Um, <laughs> you know, I wanted to be like her in, in terms of that discipline um, that she exhibited, uh, you know, in sitting down and, uh, you know, working on projects, the, the energy um, uh, that she put into creating her work. I was uh, very much impressed with that. I always came away from conversations with her uh, with a smile on my face, uh, feeling a little bit better than I did uh, before I, you know, before I engaged in conversation with her. Um, uh, in terms of her overall um, uh, impact on American theater, 
um, uh, I think her place in history, you know, is going to be very well established because as a woman, she was the first uh, uh, woman to um, be, uh, you know, to have a Broadway production that was written, the music composed by, the lyrics developed by, that one woman, uh, Nikki Grant, she did that before any other woman in American theater history. Don't bother me, I can't cope. Composed and written by um, uh, uh, Nikki Grant. Um, and uh, my goodness, if, if, uh, if it hadn't been for Vinette, Mickey probably would have directed it herself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so she would have been all over that thing. Uh, Thank you for joining us. For this week's program of Inside New York, you can see more of our interview with Richard Wesling on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you'll receive an alert when it's available on demand. <laughs> And we'll see you again next week on Inside New York. Inside New York.